If you are new here, my channel is All Things Plants, and today we are talking succulents, um, haortheas in particular, haortheas. So yes, if you have a mature haortheia or succulent, I'm gonna teach you how to properly separate our succulent babies from their mothers and how to properly pot them in their own pot. That way we can expand our collection and share with friends, right? So let's get things started right away. Got a nice little hawthoria and some gasteria, gasterias here. Nice little collection going on here. Um, I'd say these guys are some of my favorite types of succulents just because they're so unique looking and cool. Um, so hawthorias are known as the gems of succulents or of the succulent world just because like when they're fully plump and watered, some of them are like see-through like gems or they have like these really cool, really awesome patterns. So I have quite a few here with um, pups that I feel like are large enough to move on to their own pots. So that's what I want to do. I want to teach you guys how to properly um, harvest pups from their mothers and then how to plant them into their own pots. So let's start with this beauty here. This is a Haorthia cupari, 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 yeah. So anyways, I've had this girl in my collection for about two years now, and she's given me plenty of babies to use. I like to use them in um, succulent arrangements or, you know, share them with friends and family, but I've had her for quite some time now, and she seems to be very happy because she pushes out so many babies. But, um... Looks like a lot of them, or there's a handful of them that are large enough to separate from her. So let's show you how to do that. I'm actually gonna take her out. So, uh, I don't know if I should glue her. I'm gonna leave her. So you wanna carefully pluck, her, pluck them away from their mother without too, doing too much damage. Whoa, this one has a big root. But you also wanna make sure um, when you separate it from its mom, there's some type of root system as well. So that one was easy, let's try another one. And also the rule is you wanna wait till your pups are at least an inch before you um, separate it from their mother as well just so you know that it's mature enough to care for itself so, if you could see so I'm gonna try to separate from here carefully I want to have some roots connected but not damage the others beautiful let's pull up couple more I think some can wait I think I want to leave some let's see got my ruler just so I can measure out and make sure they're good for size this guy's good so again you want to separate with roots and I'm probably gonna do okay that one came out I'm probably gonna do one more and leave the others with mama so, let's see if you get a better view of this. These larger ones are quite established on their own. So when I pull them out, they're such big roots, which is good. Awesome. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to leave the younger ones with mom. Let them grow a little more. But since we did pull these from mom, there are gonna be some open wounds on each plant on mom and the babies. So we need to let these guys sit out for at least three days to callus over and dry, dry up before we transfer them to soil or water them. So same for the babies. 
and same with mama she has some open wounds down there we're not gonna wait i mean we're not gonna um water her we're gonna wait at least three to five days till those wounds are closed then i'll be safe to water her again so she's good to go let's do another plant so this is a great example of a matured haorthia with lots of pups. This one's been in my collection for about a year and a half, but let's measure it. I think most of the pups are at least an inch in size, so we could start separating, separating them here. And just to show you guys, so when separating pups, be super gentle when separating it from mom, but you want to have some type of root system to break off with your babies so see kind of snap off mom but have roots so snap there off but she has her own roots and again if there's any type of open wound on your succulents you're gonna wait to water them so these guys were the babies we're gonna let sit out for three to five days till their wounds callous over and same with mother we're gonna keep her in dry succulent soil till all these little wounds uh, dry up and then I'll be safe to water her again so let's get the rest of these puppies separated this is an example and sometimes having tools is helpful. Use my exacto knife to make perfect cuts where exactly where I need them. Alright guys, today is the day. Today is the day we are going to put our little Hathoria puppies in their own pots. It was three days ago since we separated them from their mothers and um, we let them sit out to let their wounds dry over, which we are good to go now. So just to show you what I'm working with, I got um, some two and a half, three inch pots here. And then I have um, my succulent cactus mix and um, I've added some pumice as well to add some extra aeration as well because you can never have too much, um, you know, aeration and proper drainage when you deal with succulents. So we have all of our materials together. Let's get these babies in their pots. So here's a quick example of how we're going to add our babies into their new homes, their new pots. So first you're gonna get maybe like a third of your pot full with your succulent mix. Just so your baby has somewhere to grow down into. And then, you know what, for this baby I'm gonna use a slightly larger pot just since he has more of like a stem root system, I'm gonna go with like a three inch pot. Okay, so anyways, start with your, your succulent pot, fill it up a third of a way with your succulent soil. There you go. So your baby has a nice space to grow into. Then our baby and just filling around. So just to keep in mind, you never want to use too big of a pot for your pups, your babies, um, because if the pot is too large, 
it'll take the roots longer to drink up all the water around it and the soil will stay wet for too long and that can lead to root rot which is like the number one killer of succulents so get in filled in make sure there's a little bit of a lip left under right under your pot just so when you water not too much soil or water spills out from the side and look at our babe he's good to go now he's settled in you know early fall late summer and um, hopefully we get them well established for springtime let's get the rest of these guys done Today's work, got everyone potted. Now they get some water and they're gonna chill in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. 